What's going on guys? Welcome back to this channel. Today we have a fragrance review from the House of Eccentric Molecules and this one is called Eccentric 01. Now a lot of you guys have probably heard about this fragrance. Um, I've heard about it too guys. I've watched some channels. They've been talking about this. People have been talking about this one forever. Uh, I had a couple of you guys ask me questions about it and to be honest with you I had a little sample but uh, one of my subscribers he sent me a big sample so now I was able to test it out fully and uh, I gotta say I was uh, pretty disappointed when I first sprayed it on guys but the more testing I did the more I wore it I could really understand and get a good grasp of why this fragrance is the way it is and what it's used for in my opinion so let me break that down for you guys but first let's get these notes break down broke down for y'all all right so eccentric 01 by eccentric molecules is a 2006 release it is a eau de toilette concentration it is classified as a woody floral musk for men and for women and the notes in this fragrance are iso e super pink pepper lemon and iris so what is your scent of the day today my scent of the day is Jubilation Man 25, guys. So if you haven't seen that unboxing, go check it out. I almost broke the bottle. Uh, at least I almost think I broke the bottle. I don't know. Maybe you guys are like, oh, you're hyping it up. Okay, whatever. All right. Look, guys, let's spray this on my hand so I can just remember the opening. In fact, I quite remember the opening already because it was so harsh and weird smelling. But let's go ahead and get it. It's almost like a plasticky. I get like a plastic vibe from this, um, and I'm not too sure what that is. Uh, could be the Isoe Super, it could be the Iris. I'm not too sure, guys, but what I can tell you is very, very synthetic in the opening. Um, I tried to wear this. He sent me this sample around, it was it was still kind of, uh, well, I mean, it was hot. It was, it was hot out, and um, I sprayed it on. I really couldn't smell anything but like plastic. Like I said, this is very synthetic opening. Um, and I was like, huh, that's kind of weird. And then I couldn't smell it. And I was like, huh, this is, uh, this is uh, it's kind of trash, right? And that's my thoughts, right? And uh, throughout the day, you know, I had had it on my hand. And all of a sudden, I picked up this whiff of, like, woodiness, guys. It smelled like cedar wood to me. And I think that's what this is like it's a cedar wood with the iso e super can come off as woody uh but i think it's cedar wood and i also picked up like this nice lemon note now uh the the lemon note in here the actual lemon note i think i forgot to say but it's like almafi lemon i have no idea what that is it's probably some lemon far off in another country guys um, but it it smells like a citrusy lemon very light very fresh and then also you have this spiciness to here which i'm guessing is the pink pepper it can come off as a fresh spicy floral with that iris now i did not pick up any iris at least to my nose guys so i must say to me there is no iris in here but to you there might be some iris in here if you've smelled this fragrance before now I was looking online, I was trying to do some research on here on this fragrance and they said that this is good for layering. So, me personally, I don't ever layer my fragrances. Uh, I like the way my fragrance smells, the way it smells, okay? However, I wanted to use this fragrance as it was intended, uh, at least in my opinion, to layer. Uh, that's what everybody says, so I went ahead and I layered it with Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, okay? It smells similar to Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, but very light, okay? Now, if you guys have, I don't think I made a review on Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, just the original guys, poor on. Um, it kind of smells like uh, pencil shavings to me, and uh, I'm assuming that woodiness is the pencil shavings, but it does smell very fresh and light, and it is a summer fragrance. Now, with this fragrance, with the Essential Eccentric 01, okay, it is very light. It is very airy. It has some citrusy qualities to it. It has some woody quality, woodiness qualities to it. And this honestly smells like Jenga blocks. It smells like that log cabin kind of Lego set. It's not, they're not Legos, but you guys know that that wooden, that log cabin bricks that you build and make your own little log cabin. That's what this smells like to me. 
uh, it lasts quite a long time. Uh, like I was saying, telling you guys before, uh, I thought it just disappeared within like an hour, but honestly, in the high heat, it reactivates, it reactivates and reactivates and you get like this nice, very, very faint woody, woodiness smell, woodiness smell guys. And it almost smells like a, almost smells like some sort of hay, hamster cage. Uh, I owned a lot of animals when we were younger. We got a lot of dogs at the house and it, it just smells like a hamster cage guys or like a clean hay bedding for smaller animals like rats, hamsters, if you've ever been in a Petco or a Pet Mart and you see all of them cramped up together, I feel so bad for those guys, guys. But if you've ever owned something like that, an animal where you gotta put that straw um, or like wood chip bedding on the floor to uh, catch all the excrement, uh, you know, the piss and the poop uh, that they produce, then that's kind of what this smells like uh, minus the pee and the poop, guys. It just smells very fresh, okay? And that's it, guys. I mean, that's that's really it. It's very light. It's very fresh. I think it works very well in the summer. Uh, I have tried using it while as it as it as it cools down during the day, and it really doesn't do anything. Uh, I actually prefer this fragrance as a standalone. It could be a signature scent. Very very light. If you like very 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 light fragrances, uh, this is something that you will probably want to check out. I think I actually will pick up a full bottle of this because uh, I've blown through the sample, guys. I think I only have a couple sprays left. Um, I just find it very interesting. However, it is very synthetic. And, uh, you know, it, it is versatile in a, in a sense to where you can layer it with, you can try a whole bunch of different combinations, guys. If you want a woody touch to a fragrance that might not have a woody touch to it or maybe it does but it doesn't have that much of a woody touch and you want to add some more woodiness to it um, layer layer it with this uh, you might find that it adds a little bit more more to the fragrance guys especially those cheaper ones where they don't really have a lot of depth they might not have a lot of character and they might be very boring and linear you add this to it it adds an extra note or a couple notes like i was saying it's got that nice little citrus lemon in there and it also has the isoe super with that pink pepper which kind of gives it like a fresh spicy woodiness guys all right but you know it is what it is guys i actually quite enjoy it uh it is a very different fragrance um actually so different that uh I've kind of really never experienced something like this. So thank you to my subscriber who sent me that sample. I have one more sample to review that you had sent me and uh, I really appreciate it. To everybody else, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for that 400 subscribers. And um, guys, uh, I'm, I'm, th I'm still thinking about uh, doing, I'm, I think I'm gonna do a giveaway. So that will probably be my next video. So just stay tuned for that. And uh, you guys already know how that works if you guys have watched my 100 subscriber giveaway. So I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for showing me the support. And uh, thank you for watching Lock Sense. I'm your host, Dr. Goo. Please stay safe in this crazy world. Enjoy your life and uh, yeah, make everything count. Do your best, you know, the usual yada yada. All right, guys, I'll see you later in my next video. All right, peace.